Good morning students, welcome back to the 9th science unit 11 atomic structure part 4. Now let us uh, recall what we learnt in the previous classes, discovery of nucleus, Rutherford model and Bose atom model. The next one discovery and properties of neutrons. Then characteristics of fundamental particles, atomic number and mass number. Then electronic configuration of atoms, geometric representation of atomic structure of some elements. Then valence electrons and valency. Now let us come to the last topic of this lesson, laws of chemical combinations. There are five laws of chemical combinations. The first one, law of conservation of mass. Second one, law of constant proportions. Third one, law of multiple proportions. Fourth one, law of reciprocal proportions. The fifth one, gay lussacs law of gaseous volumes. The first two laws you already learnt in 8th standard. Now come to the third law, law of multiple proportion. The law of multiple proportion was proposed by John Dalton in 1804 and this law states that when two elements A and B combine together to form more than one compound then masses of A which separately combines with the fixed mass of B, the mass of B is are in a simple ratio. Now let us uh, one example, consider one example, carbon combines with oxygen to form carbon monoxide CO. The second one carbon combines with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. Here, carbon combines with oxygen to form two different oxides, carbon monoxide CO and carbon dioxide CO2. The ratio of masses of oxygen in CO and CO2 for mass of carbon is 1 is to 2. Now, let us uh, uh, move to the table uh, tabulation. The first one carbon monoxide CO. The atomic mass of carbon is 12. The atomic mass of oxygen is 16. Now in carbon dioxide here the mass of carbon 12. Here the mass of oxygen is 16. Here 2 oxygen. So 2 into 16 32. Here the element A here is a carbon has a mass 12. Here the element B here oxygen 16 is to 32. So here the ratio of oxygen in carbon monoxide to oxygen in carbon dioxide here the ratio is 1 is to 2. This in this way you have to explain the law of multiple proportion. Now come to the fourth law, law of reciprocal proportion. The law of Reciprocal proportion was proposed by Jeremiah Richer in the year 1792 and this law states that if two different element, any element, two different element combine separately with the same weight of a third element, the ratio of masses in which they do so either a same or a simple multiple of the mass ratio in which they combine. Now, let us consider one example. Then here three elements, consider the three elements carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. The first one hydrogen combines with oxygen to form water. The second one carbon combines with hydrogen to form methane methane the molecular formula is CH4. The third one carbon combines with oxygen to form carbon monoxide. Here 
water, water uh, formula is 2O, here 2, 2 is 216, here the hydrogen and oxygen combine separately with the same weight of carbon to form CH4 and carbon dioxide, here you have to compare the two, water is comparing with methane and carbon dioxide, can you understand? Now, you come to here water. In water, the ratio of masses H and O, the atomic mass of hydrogen is 1. Here, 2 hydrogen, so 2 into 1, 2. So, oxygen, atomic mass of oxygen 16. So, the ratio is 2 is to 16. You have to simplify, you can get the ratio 1 is to 8. Now, come to the next one, methane. In methane, the formula is CH4. The ratio of masses C and H. See, the atomic mass of carbon is 12. Then atomic mass of hydrogen is 1. Here, 4 hydrogen. So, 1 into 4, 4. So, the ratio of carbon and hydrogen, that is 12 is to 4. And this one, you have to take an as the equation 2. The next one in carbon dioxide, CO2. The ratio of masses C and O is here, atomic mass of carbon is 12 and the atomic mass of oxygen is 16. Here, 2 oxygen, so 2 into 16, that is 32. So, the ratio of carbon and oxygen is 12 is to 32. In this equation, you have to take an as 3. Now, you compare the equation 2 and 3. Here, the car carbon has a fixed mass, 12. But here hydrogen and oxygen, here 34 is to 32. 4 is to 32, you have to simplify, you can get 1 is to 8. Now, you compare the equation from 1 and 4. 1 and 4, the ratio is the same. Look at here, the first ratio, the ratio is 1 is to 8. And compared to the fourth ratio, you can get the ratio that is 1 is to 8. So, the ratio is the same in this way you have to uh, explain and also verify that thus the, this law of reciprocal re proportion is illustrated. Now, come to the last law, Gay-Lussac's law of combining volume. According to Gay-Lussac's law, whenever a gases react together, the volume of a reacting gases as well as the product bears a simple whole number ratio provided all the volumes are measured under the similar conditions of temperature and pressure. Here the only one condition, the condition must be a the similar condition, the same condition, uh, temperature and pressure. The volumes are measured under the conditions, temperature and pressure pressure and also one more condition whenever a gases react. So, here the reacting pr um, uh, substance is a hydrogen and oxygen or any gases. Here come to the equation hydrogen, hydrogen is a gas. It reacts with oxygen, oxygen is also a gas to form water. And here two volume of hydrogen reacts with one volume of oxygen to form two volumes of water. So, here it has been experimentally observed that two volumes of hydrogen reacts with one volume of oxygen to form two volumes of water. Here the ratio is 2 is to 1 is to 2. It is a simple whole number ratio. This is the law, the ratio of volume here which uh, gases, bases, 2 is to 1 is to 2, which is a simple whole number ratio. This is the third one, the state and verify the Gay-Lussac law of combining volumes. Now, come to the last topic of this lesson, quantum numbers. What are called quantum numbers? The numbers which designate and distinguish Various atomic orbitals and electrons present in an atom are called quantum numbers. 
the numbers which desi designate means you have to give a name something to give a name and distinguish means you have to differentiate the various atomic orbitals orbitals means you have the different orbitals s p d f and the electrons present in an atom are called as quanta quantum numbers then four different types of quantum numbers are as follows in a tabulation the first one principal quantum number the principal quantum number uh, you have to denote it by the symbol n and the information here conveyed is main energy levels here n you have differentials n is equal to 1 2 3 4 this is the principal quantum number you have to uh, note at the symbol as n then the second one azimuthal quantum number l the, it's a symbol l and it is the information you can get here is subshell subshell means you have the differential s p d f okay it is also called as the shape of the cell different subshells sub the third one magnetic quantum number here denoted by the symbol m and here orientation of the different uh, orbitals then spin quantum number you have to denote by the symbol s and this is the spin of the electrons these are about the four types of quantum numbers l m n l m s so the, okay that's all students now you come to the assignment then the first question state the law of multiple proportions the second one state the law of reciprocal proportions the third one very important state Galusov's law with an illustration means examples. Fourth one what are called quantum numbers and these questions you have to learn and write one time. Okay students thank you.